Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Phil from Practical Media 101. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to easily speed optimize your WordPress website using the Lightspeed Cache plugin. Lightspeed Cache is one of the most powerful speed optimization plugins available for WordPress for free. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to easily set up this plugin and how to use it in order to correctly and efficiently speed optimize your website. If you have a slow loading website, then following along with this video would allow you to instantly speed it up. As always, before getting started, make sure that you like, subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. Now, without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. So like always, we're going to begin the tutorial by going up to the plugin section, searching for Lightspeed Cache and installing and activating it into our website. Then we need to scroll down, hover over Lightspeed Cache and then we need to go to General. And from inside of general, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be turning on the automatically upgrade. This is going to be allowing Lightspeed Cache to automatically update itself whenever a new update rolls in. Then we're going to be clicking on save changes. Now we're going to be scrolling down and then we will go into page optimization. From inside of here, we need to minify the CSS files and the JS files. So we will go ahead and turn on this and we will turn on this section as well. So as you can see here, we can generate EU CSS files as well, but I'm going to keep this off for now on. Now we're going to be scrolling down and we're going to be keeping the font display optimization to be swap. Once that is done, you can click on save changes, but make sure that you do one thing before saving these changes, which is that you take a backup of your website because turning on many of these options might result in your website design collapsing. So make sure that you do that before saving these changes. Since I have already taken a backup of my website, I'm going to be saving these changes for the time being. By the way, if you want to easily back up your WordPress websites, then I'm going to be leaving a video on the i button. You can go ahead and refer to that particular tutorial in order to easily back up. With that done, I'm going to be clicking on save changes. Now the next step is to also minify the JS files. So let's go over to the JS tabs. And then we're going to be turning both of these options on. And then we're going to scroll down, go into load JS deferred, and I'm going to be keeping it as deferred for the time being. Again, I'm going to save my changes. So the JS files have also been optimized. Let me go into the HTML section now. Here, they will ask me to minify HTML. Let me go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to go down. For DNS prefetch control, I'm going to be turning this on. Let me go down. And here, I'm going to be turning all of these options on. Make sure that you're not using any emojis. If you are using any emojis in WordPress and you turn this particular option on, then those emojis will disappear. And uh, same with the Google fonts. If you're using any kind of Google fonts, then make sure that you do not turn on this particular option right here. Uh, so uh, make sure that you uh, check all these changes before turning these on. Okay, since I don't have any Google fonts or WordPress emojis, I it's safe for me to turn these on. Okay, so once that is done, let me click on save changes again. And now what you need to do is that you need to go into the media settings and then you need to turn on lazy load images. Again, scroll down and click on save changes. Now, one very important section that I need to show you is a database section. So here we need to go into database and inside of the database optimizer, you will be able to find all of the junk data which has accumulated throughout your WordPress installation. You can clear all of these junk materials by using the click of a button. You just have to click here and all the junk data will be cleaned. The next important section that you can find within this particular plugin is the toolbox section where you can easily go and you can manually purge the pages within your website. You can either purge them individually or you can purge them all at once, whatever that you like. The same thing you can do with all the CSS and JS files as well. So that's one other feature that Lightspeed Cache allows you to use. Now Lightspeed Cache does provide you with several more powerful capabilities in order to enhance the performance of your website. But we don't have the time to cover all of that in today's tutorial. But if you wish to see a full tutorial covering Lightspeed Cache with full explanations on how each and every single feature work and what they do, then you can request in the comment section. And if this video gets enough likes and comments, then I'll be sure to make a detailed tutorial on Lightspeed Cache. So that was all for today's tutorial. If you liked the video, then consider subscribing to the channel and turning on your bell notifications and giving this video a giant thumbs up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. Mm.